Now some breaking news just in. The British Institute of Eating Control is proposing to ban under-16s from eating certain foods. They say that the cost of treating diet-related illnesses is now too high and action must be taken immediately. The list of foods the BIEC wants to ban includes chicken nuggets, fish fingers, chips, fizzy drinks, sweets, not including chocolate, burgers, excluding veggie burgers, sausages, but not veggie sausages, and pizza, not including thin crust or vegetable topped varieties. If the BIEC ban comes into force, the parent or guardian of any child under 16 found to have eaten any of these foods will be fined up to £1,000. Raj Pamel is a representative of the British Institute of Eating Control. Mr Pamel, what's the thinking behind this proposal? As everyone knows, obesity rates in this country are soaring and this puts a massive strain on the health service. We've already got laws in place to stop under 16 smoking and under 18s drinking alcohol. So this is the next logical step. We must ensure that we don't end up with a nation of unhealthy people who we can't afford to look after. What evidence do you have about the effect of diet on obesity and on health? The latest health survey for England data shows that if no action is taken, over 50% of adults and 25% of children are predicted to be obese by 2050. The point is, obesity is linked to an increased risk of certain cancers, type 2 diabetes and heart and liver disease. So this is disastrous for the health of the nation. The burden on the NHS is already huge. Direct costs caused by obesity are estimated to be £4.2 billion per year and will more than double by 2050 if we carry on without taking action. Thank you. Raj Pamel of the British Institute of Eating Control. Now let's go over to our reporter Emily Owen, who's been out and about to hear some reactions to the proposed ban. Thanks, Mark. I'm here with Glenis Jones, a nutritionist at the Medical Research Council. What's your view of the ban the BIEC is proposing? I think it's very over the top. The last thing we want to be doing is demonising a food. We want to teach people healthy eating messages. Because the problem is, is if you demonise a food, people only crave for it, and when they're older, they'll eat far more of it. And those foods are linked to increased risk of obesity and other cardiovascular diseases. So, in your opinion, is there a solution? What we need to do is educate people so that they can make the healthier choices, but more importantly, we also need the healthier foods to be available so that they can actually pick them as the default option. Thank you. Earlier today, I spoke to some people who may be affected if this proposed ban goes ahead. Oh, this will be a very difficult situation. How could you explain to six years old, uh, 16 years old, she can't eat that, and he can't. Obviously, she could sneak something out to his bedroom and he could eat it and I would get fined for it, you know, it's an impossible situation. If the government uh, put any ban on junk food, it's very, very fantastic. We are doing it as well, we're trying our best in school to give the children a healthy diet, in which we do all the time. And if that goes ahead, it will make our job a lot, lot easier. I think it's good and bad because the good thing is the people can get quite addicted to it and they'll never stop eating but the bad thing is you need a balanced diet and if you can't just have no junk junk food because you need a bit of fat um, sugar so you need a balanced diet there'll be always parents who will give junk food to the kids because let's face it through it's cheaper than the healthy food and there's always parents who can't cook they won't cook, they can't cook, and it's easier for them to do that. Well, I don't think it's really good because in order to have a balanced diet, you have to have junk food and healthy food. And children are going to find it really hard because they really like junk food, including me. So I'll even find it a bit difficult. So it's clear that there'll be strong feelings about this at dinner tables around the country this evening. This is Emily Owen reporting from North London.